Imagine the coldest, darkest winter, the kind where the sun barely rises, the wind bites your skin, and the world feels silent and desolate. What do you do when life feels like this? What happens when you find yourself in your own personal winter arc, where everything seems to slow down, challenges freeze you in place, and hope feels distant? We all face winters in our lives times when we are tested mentally, emotionally, and even physically. But here's the thing. Winter is not the enemy. It's a season for growth, for hardening our resolve, and for preparing ourselves for the brighter days ahead. Stoicism teaches us how to endure these seasons of life with grace and strength, knowing that they are not permanent, but essential to our personal development. Stoicism teaches us that these are not moments to be avoided, but embraced as necessary challenges that shape our character. This period is not about suffering for the sake of suffering, but about growing stronger, more resilient, and wiser through life's natural cycles of highs and lows. Stoicism is a philosophy grounded in practicality. One of its central tenets is to accept that suffering, hardship, and loss are inevitable. But within this acceptance lies freedom, the freedom to respond to life's winters with dignity, strength, and calm. Winter is harsh because it strips away the comforts of life. It represents periods of loss, whether it be financial difficulties, personal tragedies, or struggles with mental and physical health. However, as Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, reminds us in his meditations, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. The lesson here is that winter, the obstacle, is not a roadblock, but an opportunity to cultivate virtue. Today, we'll explore how Stoic philosophy can serve as a beacon during life's harsh winters. This is your ultimate guide, is staying strong and motivated when the going gets tough when you're in the midst of your own winter arc. Lesson number one, embrace discomfort. It's the forge of your character, in winter, discomfort is inevitable. The biting cold, the relentless wind, and the lone nights all seem to conspire against you. But the Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius, remind us to view discomfort as an opportunity. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way, he wrote in Meditations. Life's winter arc is a time for enduring hardships that, in turn, build your resilience. Instead of retreating from discomfort, Stoicism teaches us to embrace it. Consider discomfort as a forge, refining and strengthening you. The cold may sting, but with every breath you take, your body adjusts. Your mind, too, can adapt to life's discomforts. Instead of asking, why me, a Stoic asks, how can I grow from this? Take a simple daily exercise, going outside for a walk in the bitter cold. It's not comfortable, but over time you become less sensitive to it. Your body strengthens, your mental resistance builds, and you become accustomed to the challenge. In the same way, Life's emotional and psychological hardships train us to face greater challenges in the future. Each difficulty faced now prepares you for even more daunting situations ahead. Marcus Aurelius also advises that when we encounter obstacles, rather than view them as walls, we should see them as hurdles met to be overcome. So, whatever winter season you're facing, whether it's loneliness, financial strain, or personal loss, remind yourself that enduring these trials builds inner strength. 
Lesson number two. Control what you can, accept what you cannot. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is the dichotomy of control. Epictetus teaches us that we should focus our energy on what is within our control and gracefully accept what is not. During the winter arc of life, many things will feel out of our control just like how we can't change the seasons themselves. But what we can control is how we respond to them. Imagine you've lost a job and you're struggling to make ends meet. You can't change the fact that the job is gone that is outside your control. But what is within your control? Your attitude, your response, your effort to seek new opportunities. Instead of getting lost in the injustice of the situation, focus on what you can actively do. Are there new skills you can learn, new paths to pursue? Can you use this time as an opportunity to grow in areas you've neglected? Stoicism reminds us that peace comes not from wishing the external world was different, but from adjusting our internal response to it. Winter, both literal and metaphorical, is a time to practice this. We cannot change the weather, but we can put on a warmer coat. We cannot change the hardships life throws at us, but we can change our mindset and actions. Lesson number three. Life is transitory. So are your winters. Seneca once said, Time heals what reason cannot. One of the deepest lessons in Stoicism is the understanding of the transitory nature of life. Everything, both good and bad, is temporary. Winter doesn't last forever, and neither do the hardships you face. Think about the cyclical nature of seasons. Just as winter gives way to spring, your difficult periods will eventually pass. This doesn't mean sitting idly by waiting for better times, but it does mean finding comfort in the knowledge that every struggle is fleeting. When you're in the midst of your personal winter, remind yourself of the impermanence of all things. This lesson is one of the most comforting aspects of Stoicism. Nothing, no matter how painful, lasts forever. By remembering the transitory nature of life, we can detach from the pain that we might otherwise let consume us. It's like watching a storm through a window rather than getting caught in it. We observe and wait for it to pass, knowing it cannot go on forever. Lesson number four, the virtue of endurance. Stay steady, the Stoics held endurance in high esteem. Life is filled with ups and downs, and it is endurance that helps us weather the harshest of times. Endurance isn't just about gritting your teeth and pushing through. It's about maintaining composure, wisdom, and virtue in the face of adversity. Think of winter as a test of endurance. It's easy to be happy, and calm when life is warm and comfortable, but true character is revealed during the tough times. In ancient Stoic teachings, we find that virtue is not tested when life is easy. It is tested when life is hard, when faced with hardship. How do you behave? Do you lose your temper, grow anxious, or panic? Or do you stay steady, grounded in wisdom, and perspective. Endurance, in the Stoic sense, is about remaining virtuous in the face of difficulty. It's about maintaining patience when you feel impatient, kindness when you're frustrated, and courage when you're afraid. Life's winters are the best times to cultivate this kind of endurance because they push you to your limits and that's where growth happens. Lesson number five, find the beauty in winter. It's a time for reflection. While winter might seem harsh, it's also a time for reflection and internal growth. 
just as nature goes into a quiet phase of dormancy, we too can use winter as a season to turn inward, slow down, and focus on our personal development. During life's winter arc, rather than rushing to escape the discomfort, take time to pause and reflect. What are the lessons this season is trying to teach you? What areas of your life need attention or growth? The Stoics often use periods of hardship as opportunities to cultivate inner wisdom. In the stillness of winter, you have the chance to reflect on your life, your decisions, and your values. Nature teaches us that winter is not a time of death, but a time of rest and renewal. Underneath the snow, seeds are preparing to bloom in the spring. In the same way, your winter arc is preparing you for your next season of growth. It is in these quiet, reflective moments that you can realign your goals, recalibrate your mindset, and nurture the seeds of future success. Lesson number six, practice gratitude even in hard times. One of the greatest stoic lessons is to practice gratitude, even in the most difficult moments. Seneca teaches us that life, in all its forms, pleasure and pain, joy and sorrow is a gift. Learning to find gratitude in the winter arc of your life is a powerful practice that transforms suffering into wisdom. Gratitude is a powerful tool in the Stoics' winter arc because it shifts our focus from what we have lost or lack to what we still have. We can be grateful for the challenges that shape us, for the resilience that grows within us, and for the knowledge that winter is a necessary part of life's cycle. When the world feels cold and uninviting, take a moment to look for what is still good around you. Gratitude shifts your perspective from scarcity to abundance. Even in the darkest moments, there is always something to be grateful for the warmth of a home, the support of a friend, or simply the fact that you are still here, capable of growth and change. Gratitude doesn't ignore the reality of suffering, but it does remind you that suffering is not the whole picture. There are always rays of light, even in winter. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you can cultivate a mindset that carries you through the toughest times. Lesson number seven. The importance of daily habits. Prepare for the winter before it arrives. The Stoics were big believers in the power of preparation. The time to build resilience is not when you're already in the midst of hardship, but before it arrives. Much like how animals prepare for winter by gathering food and creating shelter, we too must prepare ourselves mentally, emotionally, and spiritually before life's storms hit. Think of it like this. You wouldn't wait until the snowstorm arrives to go out and buy a coat. You prepare in advance because you know that winter will come eventually. In the same way, Stoics encourage us to cultivate daily habits that strengthen our minds and body so that when life's metaphorical winters come, we're ready. Epictetus advised daily reflection and journaling to build resilience. He would ask himself, what did I do well today? What could I have done better? What will I improve tomorrow? This habit of self-examination helps build the mental fortitude needed to endure hardships when they arise. In your own life, consider how you can prepare for future challenges. Are you cultivating the mental habits that will support you through tough times? Meditation, gratitude, and mindfulness are just some of the daily practices that can strengthen your mental resilience. By preparing your mind, 
you're preparing yourself for whatever winter might come your way, another aspect of preparation is physical endurance. For the Stoics, the mind and body were connected. Physical hardship, like deliberately exposing yourself to discomfort cold showers, fasting or exercise can train the mind to remain calm in challenging situations. These small acts of discomfort build your capacity to endure larger hardships down the road. Lesson number eight, voluntary discomfort, the Stoic training ground. The Stoics often practiced voluntary discomfort as a way to prepare for the inevitable difficulties of life. Seneca would sleep on the floor, wear simple clothing, and fast regularly. Why? Because by exposing himself to discomfort intentionally, he learned not to fear it when it came uninvited. In today's world, we live in a bubble of comfort. Our homes are heated, our food is abundant, and most of us are insulated from the harsher elements of life. While this comfort is wonderful, it can make us soft and unprepared for the winters that life will throw at us. Voluntary discomfort is a way to remind ourselves that we can handle more than we think. Just as nature uses winter to rest and prepare for the growth of spring, Stoicism teaches us that personal growth happens most profoundly in discomfort. This could mean enduring physical challenges, facing emotional pain, or navigating uncertainties. By accepting and even welcoming discomfort, we build resilience. In practical terms, this may involve pushing ourselves outside our comfort zones, whether that's developing new skills, tackling difficult conversations, or confronting our fears. Stoicism encourages us to practice voluntary discomfort, like fasting or enduring the cold, as a way to strengthen our mental and physical endurance. These practices prepare us for life's real winters, where the discomfort is not voluntary, but necessary. Take, for example, going without your phone or technology for a day. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but after a few hours, you realize that you can survive without the constant distraction. Or consider fasting for a day, not as a way to lose weight, but as a mental exercise in self-control and resilience. The Stoics believe that these small acts of discomfort built the internal strength needed to endure real challenges. By exposing yourself to voluntary discomfort regularly, you train your mind to remain calm and steady in the face of adversity. When life inevitably throws you into a situation that is outside your control, you will already be familiar with the discomfort and know how to handle it without losing your composure. Lesson 9, Amor Fati. Loving your fate, even in winter. One of the most profound Stoic teachings is the concept of Amor Fati, which means love of fate. It's not just about accepting what happens to you. It's about embracing it fully, even the winters of your life, the hardest, most painful moments, are part of your path. Instead of resisting them, the stoic approach is to love them as essential elements of your journey. Nietzsche, who was heavily influenced by the stoics, described Amor Fadi is the ultimate affirmation of life. He said, my formula for greatness in a human being is amor fati, that one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity. For the Stoics, this idea of loving your fate was central to enduring hardships with grace. Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs? 
This perspective shifts how we view challenges. Instead of seeing them as obstacles to happiness, we see them as necessary steps on our journey. We learn to say this too is for my benefit. How can you apply a more fadi in your life? Next time something challenging happens, a lost job, a breakup, or a healthy should try to see it as part of your personal story. Rather than resisting or complaining, ask yourself, what is this moment trying to teach me? How can I use this challenge to grow? When we embrace every moment, even the painful ones, we turn them into opportunities for growth. Lesson number 10, the power of perspective. Zooming out during hard times. One of the most practical stoic tools for enduring hardship is the ability to change your perspective. When we're in the middle of a tough situation, it's easy to get consumed by it, to feel like the pain or difficulty is all encompassing. The Stoics encourage us to take a step back, zoom out, and view our problems from a wider perspective. Marcus Aurelius was known for this technique. He would often remind himself that whatever he was going through, it was just a tiny speck in the vastness of time and space. In meditations, he writes, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. By shifting his perspective, he could see that his problems, while difficult in the moment, were temporary and insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Imagine you're going through a personal crisis. It feels overwhelming like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But what if you zoomed out? What if you considered how this moment will look a year from now, five years from now, or even 100 years from now? In the grand timeline of your life, this one moment, no matter how painful, is just a blip. When we are in the depth of winter, it can feel endless, but Stoicism teaches us that winter, like everything else, is part of the natural ebb and flow of life. By understanding and accepting this impermanence, we can navigate the challenges of winter with greater peace. Stoicism teaches us that by changing our perspective, we can relieve some of the emotional intensity of the moment. We can see our problems not as life-defining events, but as temporary challenges that we will overcome. This shift in perspective allows us to approach hardship with calmness and clarity, rather than panic and despair. Lesson number 11, community and connection. You don't have to endure winter alone. While stoicism often focuses on individual resilience, it also recognizes the importance of community and connection. The Stoics believe that humans are inherently social creatures and that we are meant to support one another through life's challenges. In your winter hark, it's important to remember that you don't have to go through it alone. In today's world, it's easy to feel isolated during tough times. Social media often gives us the illusion that everyone else is living perfect lives while we're the only ones struggling. But the truth is, everyone faces winters in their life. By reaching out to others, sharing your struggles, and asking for support, you tap into a source of strength that goes beyond individual resilience. Epictetus reminds us that we are made for cooperation, like feet, like hands, like eyelids, like the rows of the upper, and lower teeth. In other words, we are designed to work together. Stoicism isn't about toughing it out alone, it's about recognizing that community and relationships are essential to human life. In your own life, consider how you can build a network of support for when the winter arc comes. 
This might be friends, family, or even a therapist or support group. By cultivating these connections, you create a safety net that can catch you when times are tough. And remember, supporting others during their winters not only helps them, but it strengthens you as well. Lesson number 12. The Role of Virtue. Acting with Integrity During Hard Times The Stoics placed a strong emphasis on virtue as the highest good. No matter what is happening in your life, whether you're thriving in the summer or struggling in the winter, your commitment to acting with integrity should remain constant. Virtue, in the Stoic sense, means living in alignment with wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. When we face hardship, it can be tempting to compromise our values. Stress and fear might lead us to act in ways that we wouldn't normally do. But Stoicism teaches us that true strength lies in maintaining our virtue, even when times are tough. Marcus Aurelius wrote, If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. In your winter arc, there will be moments when acting with integrity feels difficult. Maybe you're facing financial hardship and are tempted to take a shortcut or compromise your ethics. Or maybe you're dealing with personal conflict and feel tempted to lash out or seek revenge. Stoicism reminds us that no matter how difficult life gets, our virtue is the one thing we can always control. Consider how you can apply this in your own life. The next time you face a challenging situation, ask yourself, how can I respond to this in a way that aligns with my values? By staying true to your principles, you not only endure the winter arc, but emerge from it stronger and more aligned with the person you want to be. Lesson number 13. Gratitude for the Tough Times. Transforming Winter into Opportunity. In Stoicism, gratitude is not reserved for the easy, joyful moments. The Stoics believed in finding gratitude even during the hardest times. Why? Because it's in the struggle that we grow. The winter arc of life, while painful, is also an opportunity for transformation. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Receive without conceit, release without struggle. This idea of accepting both the good and the bad with equal grace is central to Stoicism. When we face hardship, instead of resenting it, we can choose to be grateful for the lessons it offers. For example, Imagine you've been through a difficult breakup. It's painful, and in the moment, it might feel like the end of the world. But as time passes, you realize that the experience taught you valuable lessons about yourself, about love, and about what you want in the future. Without that hardship, you wouldn't have grown in the ways that you did. Winter, with all its hardships, is a season of life, just as spring, summer, and autumn are. It is not something to be feared or avoided, but understood as part of the larger cycle. This understanding helps us maintain our calm and composure, knowing that spring will inevitably follow winter. Stoicism teaches us to view every challenge as a teacher. By finding gratitude for the tough times, we transform them into opportunities for growth. Instead of seeing winter as a season of suffering, we can see it as a season of renewal and strength. Conclusion Embracing your winter arc with stoic motivation As we conclude, remember that life's winters are not to be feared but embraced. These seasons of difficulty are where your true character is forged, where you build the resilience and strength that will carry you through all of life's challenges.
Stoicism provides a road map for navigating these harsh times with grace, wisdom, and inner strength. By embracing discomfort, focusing on what you can control, practicing gratitude, and maintaining your virtue, you can not only endure the winter arc, but thrive in it. And remember, just as winter always gives way to spring, so to will your tough times eventually pass. Perhaps one of the most comforting teachings of Stoicism is the understanding of life's transitory nature. Nothing is permanent, not even winter. This idea, championed by Marcus Aurelius, reminds us that all things, good and bad, are temporary. When we are in the depth of winter, it can feel endless, but Stoicism teaches us that winter, like everything else, is part of the natural ebb and flow of life. By understanding and accepting this impermanence, we can navigate the challenges of winter with greater peace. Winter, with all its hardships, is a season of life, just as spring, summer, and autumn are. It is not something to be feared or avoided, but understood as part of the larger cycle. This understanding helps us maintain our calm and composure, knowing that spring will inevitably follow winter. The winter arc of life is challenging, but it's also essential. It's in these harsh seasons that we grow, learn, and cultivate the inner strength that Stoicism champions. By embracing discomfort, focusing on what we can control, understanding the transitory nature of life, and practicing endurance and gratitude, we transform winter from a time of suffering into a time of growth. Winter is not the end, it's a beginning. It's the season that prepares us for the warmth and opportunities ahead. And as a Stoic, you have the tools to not just survive the winter arc, but to thrive in it. If this message resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stoicism every day for more insights on how to live a resilient, purposeful life. Leave a comment below about how you're applying Stoic wisdom to your own winter arc and let's keep this community strong. You're not alone in your journey, and together, we'll face life's winters and emerge stronger on the other side.